There are two ways to be happy. Change the situation or change the mindset towards it. Namaskar. Welcome to PT Pointers and our first headline is related to protection of children from sexual offenses act 2012 and ye news mein bhi isliye hai kyunki recently 22nd law commission submitted its report and it is observed that law commission is against lowering age of consent under protection of children from sexual offenses act and it advised the introduction of guided judicial discretion while sentencing in cases that involve tacit approval of children in the 16 to 18 years age bracket now let's know more about the act to so friends it was enacted in 2012 in a consequence of india's ratification of the united nation convention on rights of child in 1992 act defines a child as any person below 18 years of age the law is aimed to address offenses of sexual exploitation and sexual abuse of children which are either or not specifically defined or inadequately penalized our next headline is related to शस्त्र रामनुजन प्राइस एंड ये न्यूज में भी इसलिए है क्योंकि 2023 ट्वेंटी शस्त्र रामनुजन प्राइस विल बी अवार्डेड टू रोसांग जैंग ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया दिस अवार्ड वाज इंस्टीट्यूटेड बाय शैन मुगा आर्ट्स साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड रिसर्च एकेडमी इन 2005 विद अ कैश प्राइज ऑफ टेन डॉलर इट इज प्रेजेंटेड एनुअली टू इंडिविजुअल एज एट एंड बिलो who made outstanding contributions in the field of mathematics influenced by shrinivas ramanujan and do you know friends ramanujan is remembered for his contribution to mathematical analysis infinite series continued fractions and number theory and he also discovered his own theorems and compiled as many as 3900 results independently and 22nd december which is the birth anniversary of shrinivas ramanujan was designated as national mathematics day by government in 2011 our next headline is related to social bonds and they are in the news because recently national bank for agriculture and rural development announced the listing of its social bonds on the bombay stock exchange and the funds would be used to refinance the jal jeevan mission in telangana and do you know friends social bonds are designated to raise proceeds for projects with positive social outcomes and they seek to finance and refinance new or existing eligible and social projects now recently president of india presented the national service scheme awards for the year 2021 2022 and these awards instituted by union ministry of youth affairs and sports and they are presented annually to nss volunteers program officers nss units and universities to recognize their voluntary service our next headline is related to shanghai cooperation organization and it is in the news because recently meeting of trade and economy ministers of shanghai cooperation organization conducted and they shared their perspectives on the subject the prospects and measures to deepen trade and economic cooperation among sco member states now let's know more about shanghai cooperation organization to so friends it is an intergovernmental organization which was founded in shanghai in 2001 and currently it has eight member countries and these are india kazakhstan china kyrgyzstan russia pakistan tajikistan and uzbekistan and do you know friends india was granted observer status in 2005 and on june 2017 india and pakistan officially joined sco as full members agar hum objectives ki baat kare sco ki to they include strengthening relations among member states and mutual confidence promoting cooperation in political affairs economics trade and educational spheres as well as in energy transportation tourism and environmental protection our next headline is related to project udbhav jo ki launch kiya gaya tha indian army ke dwara to rediscover the profound indic heritage of state craft and strategic thoughts 
which are derived from ancient Indian text of statecraft, warcraft, diplomacy, and grand strategy. It focuses on broad spectrum, including indigenous military systems, historical text, regional text and kingdoms, thematic studies, and intricate cotillia studies. Our next headline is related to United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime. And this news is also in क्योंकि रिसेंटली इसकी ट्वेंटियथ एनिवर्सरी ऑब्जर्व की गई है बिकॉज इट एंटर्ड इन टू फोर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ सेप्टेम्बर नाउ लेट्स नो मोर अबाउट इट तो फ्रेंड्स इसको अडॉप्ट किया गया था 2000 में एंड इट एंटर्ड इन टू फोर्स इन सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड थ्री टू प्रमोट कॉपरेशन टू प्रिवेंट एंड कॉम्बेट transnational organized crime more effectively it is main international instrument in the fight against transnational organized crime and it is supplemented by three protocols against trafficking in persons smuggling of migrants and illicit manufacturing of and trafficking in firearms respectively our next headline is related to windfall tax and ye news mein bhi isliye hai क्योंकि रिसेंटली गवर्नमेंट रेज द विनफॉल टैक्स ऑन लोकली प्रोड्यूस्ड क्रूड ऑयल टू मोर देन ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड पर टन एंड डू यू नो फ्रेंड्स विनफॉल टैक्स इज अ टाइप ऑफ टैक्स दैट गवर्नमेंट इंपोजेस ऑन सर्टेन इंडस्ट्रीज व्हेन दे मेक अनएक्सपेक्टेडली हाई प्रॉफिट सेंटर फर्स्ट इंपोज द विनफॉल टैक्सेस ऑन द सेल ऑफ लोकली प्रोड्यूस क्रूड ऑयल विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम जुलाई फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एज ऑयल एक्सप्लोरेशन एंड प्रोड्यूसिंग कंपनीज मेड हैवी प्रॉफिट एमिड मल्टी लेयर हाई क्रूड ऑयल प्राइसेस पोस्ट रशिया इनवेजन ऑफ यूक्रेन आर नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट हेडलाइन इज रिलेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड्स एंड ये न्यूज में भी इसलिए है क्योंकि रिसेंटली गवर्नमेंट अप्रूव द इश्यूएंस ऑफ द ट्वेंटी एट ट्रांचे ऑफ इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड्स दैट विल ओपन ऑन अक्टूबर फोर्थ फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ टेन डेज नाउ लेट्स नो मोर अबाउट दम तो फ्रेंड्स इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड स्कीम वॉज नोटिफाइड बाय द गवर्नमेंट इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन दे आर बेटर एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट अल्टरनेटिव टू कैश डोनेशन मेड टूवर्ड्स पोलिटिकल पार्टीज एंड इट वुड हेल्प इन ब्रिंगिंग ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन पोलिटिकल फंडिंग इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड्स मे बी परचेस्ड बाय अ पर्सन हु इज अ सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया or incorporated or established in india a person being an individual can buy electoral bonds either singly or jointly with other individuals and only political parties registered under section 29a of the representation of people act 1951 and which secured not less than 1% of the votes polled in the last general elections to the house of people or the legislative assembly of the state shall be eligible to receive electoral bonds and state bank of india has been authorized to issue and and cash electoral bonds through its authorized branches and do you know friends electoral bonds shall be valid for 15 calendar days from the date of issue and no payment shall be made to any pay political party if electoral bond is deposited after expiry of validity period and electoral bonds deposited by an eligible political party in its account shall be credited on the same day so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms 